Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit, and Shalom to the elect whom the Lord have given ears to hear. And I want to do a skillful ad, Lord willing, through the Spirit, to the brother out there in the Kansas City camp. His page is GMS Kansas City Prophets. The... GMS Kansas City Prophets 3. And he did a lesson going into... Um, Well, as you see, you seen the title. For Akim that may struggle with fear and anxiety. All right, and as he mentioned, you know, that's a that's something that every man has gone through or will go through at some point in their life. Now, in the word anxiety, meaning a feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease. Typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. And fear is an unpleasant feeling. It's just triggered by the perception of danger, real or imagined. Alright? So fear brings on anxiety or vice versa, however you want to put it. And, um... You know, every man, no matter how strong, how big, how tall, you know, no matter what physical attributes they has, they have, you know, they all uh, struggle or have struggled with that at some point in time. For example, let's use a simple uh, uh, example as taking a test. You know, you're not sure. We all went to school at one point or at one point or another, you know, you gotta take this final exam, you know, and you probably haven't studied as much as you should have. So when it comes time to take that test, you're nervous. When you go and talk to a girl, you might be nervous then. Um somebody might be picking on you and you're afraid to speak up for yourself. Because of fear of a confrontation. However the case may be. And again, some way, shape, and form. We've all suffered fear and anxiety. You may not, you know, you may be a stand-up guy. You stand up for yourself. Um. However, on another note, like let's say. You may have issues with money. And you got bills coming up for this. Bills coming up for that. And, you know, you have anxiety for how, and how you're going to pay it. You know, how you're going to keep the lights on. How you're going to get food for your children. All right, so every man has experienced it in one way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, it says right here, right? This is Sirach chapter 40, verse 1. It says, Great travail is created for every man. And in heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam... From the day that they go out of their mother's womb to the day that they return to the mother of all things. Their imagination of things to come and the day of death trouble their thoughts and cause fear of heart. From him that sitteth on a throne of glory. So again, from him that has great statue. All right. From him that is greatly renowned unto him that is humbled in earth and ashes. You know, until a little weak, scrawny kid. All right, or to uh, uh, you know, a beggar, they all suffer the same. From him that weareth purple and a crown, unto him that is clothed with a linen froth. Wrath and envy, trouble and unquietness, fear of death, anger, strife, and in the time of rest, 
upon his bed, his night sleepeth, do change his knowledge. A little or nothing is his rest, and afterward he is in his sleep, as in a day of keeping watch, troubled in the vision of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. When all is safe, he awaketh and marveleth that the fear was nothing. Right? So again, that's that's a common thing. All right? And, you know, I have a, whatever brother you may be, you know, some brothers in this thing of ours, you know, I myself grew up very uh, timid, you know, and the most I had to put me through certain things, I'm still, uh, you know, fighting my battles, you know, and the most I had to put me through things so where, you know, I can uh, grow a stronger mind, all right? Um, the most mightiest man that ever walked the earth, Yahweh Shai, experienced fear in his flesh. You know, remember, he prayed so profusely that he sweated blood. King David, another mighty man of war, you know, took out tens of thousands. He was scared, you know, he experienced times of fear. All right, so you're no different, you know, because another thing will happen is, is that Satan will make you feel bad for being human. And what I mean by that is he'll make it seem like he'll amplify your fears by making it seem like you're the only one that feels like that. You know? And it may feel like, oh, well, you know, I never get out of this. You know, how do I get out? It's it's too strong. It's it's a it's a a battle too hard for me. Right? But you know, as the brother brought up very beautiful points, I want to add prayer. All right. I want to add prayer to that. When you are in an anxious, a very you know, you you are in an anxious uh position. All right. You want to add prayer and you want to pray hard. You know, an example, you know, I had a situation where I was on my way to work and I was just very, very nervous. You know, had to deal with, you know, demon on the job is fucking with me and shit. You know, and like I said, me, myself, just having to learn um, strength. You know, having to learn strength of mind, standing up for yourself, speaking up when you need something or when you're not with something. And, um, you know, on my way to the job, just praying, 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 praying. And lo and behold, that fearful spirit left me. You know, I was, you know, I was rejoicing to Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. And I remember this, this uh, situation like it was yesterday. You know, because that's how uh, strong that, you know, that demon was, was on me. You know? And, um, <clears throat> I'll say this too. We have to give ourselves more credit, you know, as being men and also as being men of the Lord. All right? That we're stronger, you know? For one, you know, that we're stronger than what we think. And for two, a situation, you could quell a situation just by speaking up. You know, like I said, this might be for brothers who are timid and, you know, don't really stand up, you know, speak up for themselves. You can quell a situation just by speaking up. All right? You don't necessarily have to go to fisticuffs or, you know, putting hands with somebody. You know, as the scriptures say, you know, be peaceful with all men. If be if it be possible, be peaceful with all men. But then there's other scriptures that speak on um you know, just as a balance. Let's see. I 
think it's since, yeah, a loud crying woman and a school shall be sought out to drive away the enemies. So sometimes you got to speak up, you know, in, in situations or in acts that you don't like. Right? Because people don't know what you don't like if you don't, unless you tell them. Okay? And remember, as the old saying goes, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. All right, so I want to grab this prayer in the steed of prayer of uh, King David. And mind you, again, I want to harp on that point that King David, a very mighty man, you know, a man that could take down any man, any a man that could take down the mightiest man today. All right. He was at times nervous and, and, and afraid and fearful. So this is Psalms chapter 56, verse 1. For the choir director, a psalm of David, regarding the time the Philistines seized him in Gath, to be sung to the tune, Dove of Distant Oaks. Hmm. It says, and um, that, I believe, let me see something real quick. Right, it says, supplication for deliverance and grateful trust. In God. So now let's jump, jump back to the NLT now. It says, Oh God, have mercy on me, for people are hounding me. My foes attack me all day long. Okay? It says, I am constantly hounded by those who slander me, and many are boldly attacking me. All right? Um, there's a prayer, which this is a good one, um, Psalms 56 and 3, that's a good one. There's another prayer, I remember the elder brother, um, Monaghan, had, you know, gave to brothers, his, his page is GMS Army of 144, he was saying, um, from violence and deceit, thou deliver me. Okay, and you know, you can have a situation that's literally like this, or you can have a situation to where your anxiety is so much in your head that you making you making it worse than what it is. You know, cause Jake, you know, Jake do Jake shit, you know, manly shit as far as you know, Jake, you know, fucking with one another and whatnot. But you could, you know, you might. Be a little emotional, too emotional, just to keep it a buck. And you might feel like they're picking on you. You know? But, um, you know, that prayer comes to mind from violence and deceit, right? Whether it be from physically violence or from the deceit in your mind that makes you think that it's something more than what it's not. From violence and deceit, thou keep me. So it says, but when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. I will praise God for what he has promised. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? So I start back at 56 verse 3. But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. I will praise God for what he has promised. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? They are always twisting what I say. They spend their days plotting to harm me. They come together to spy on me, watching my every step, eager to kill me. Don't let them get away with their wickedness. In your anger, O oh God, bring them down. You keep track of all my sorrows, right? So the Lord is always watching. The Lord is always watching, man. From the, you know, the demons that you deal with in the flesh or in the spirit. He's always watching, man. Right? And if he's keeping track, you know, of our enemies, best believe he's keeping track of our prayers. Remember, it is also written... That it is a righteous thing for the Lord to recompense trouble, to to recompense 
uh, trouble to those that trouble us. So it says, you have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. Case in point, remember Lot. You know, you know Lot had to be ridiculed for being a just man among so many wicked. Right? You know, he was keeping a, you know, the high, he had to be keeping the high holy days. You know, he had to be uh, abstaining from a lot of the wickedness that his family would have uh, pushed him to or attempted to push him to do. Right? But what's the scriptures say about Lot? That, um, what the scriptures speak highly of just Lot. Right? How, how did the Lord know that he was just? Because he was crying for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right. So again, as, as we read, my enemies will retreat when I call for you, when I call to you for help. This I know God is on my side. I praise God for what he has promised. Yes, I praise the Lord for what he has promised. I trust in God. So why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? I will fulfill my vows to you, O God. And will offer a sacrifice of thanks for your help. For you have rescued me from death. Alright. And again, prayer is everything, man. Prayer is everything because our faith is our strength. Alright. Does not the scripture say that the, your faith has made you whole? So, don't be afraid to pray. Don't be too hard on yourself. Right? And give it to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. For it says, For you have rescued me from death. You have kept my, free, my feet from slipping. So now I can walk in your presence, O God, in your, in your life giving light. You know? And, um, you know, there was a. I mean, there's some pretty decent uh, self-treatments. This is as long as there's no actual threat, try breathing slowly and deeply to reduce feelings of fear. Talking with a friend or family member may also help. All right. But um, I've seen some other, you know, uh, anecdotes would be like, you know, watching your diet, your sleep, and I all play, plays a... Uh, you know, um, a toll on your psyche. That all takes a toll on your psyche. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt to work out. You know what I'm saying? Take a um, some type of self-defense class as well. All right? But most importantly, most importantly, is pray to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? And don't forget that according to the book of was that Romans that the most high will not give you he won't give you a situation that that's too hard for you Hey, uh, let me read this and I'll give you brothers another um, testimony. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. All right. And another thing we got to know, you know, having faith in the Lord, that we don't really know our own strength. Mm -hmm. You know, it's through the spirit that I, I mentioned that earlier. Like you gotta have, you gotta know that you're stronger than you actually than you actually believe. You know. Um, hey, I know I remember watching the brothers, you know, the brothers out there in Cali last week. They were saying, you know, in some instances you gotta walk away, even if you look like a coward. All right, but again. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when you go to sleep. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when you wake up. 
Pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai all throughout the day. Because that's what it's really about. It's these fucking demons hopping on people, trying to hop on you to make situations worse than what they are. But it says, when you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. All right? So you may have a situation where, you know, your manhood is being tested. But then the scripture pops into your head, a soft answer turning for way wrath. Well, guess what? The Lord just gave you a way out. <laughs> you know, you remember the scripture. You got out of there. And it's easier said than done. Because, you know, it's the flesh versus the spirit. The flesh want to kick up. You know? But, um, hey, as our Lord and Savior, how was I? You know, he didn't allow fear to... Uh, he didn't allow fear to destroy, to take him from his purpose, to take him from, right, he didn't allow fear to take him from his purpose, neither can we. Right? Well, as far as, well, that was pretty much the point. But, um, oh, another testimony I had, you know, which, you know, I could only give you, tell you brothers my experience. I had a dream, I had a dream one time, I was sleeping in my dream, F go figure, right? I was sleeping in my dream, and, you know, I woke up pretty much, you know, being carted out, uh, I want to say, it was pretty, I don't remember if, I don't remember if it was CIA or FBI, I was one of the governmental agencies, right? So I was carted out. I wasn't sure what the fuck was going on. But I was carted out of my house. And right in front of my house at the time. There was a judge. Getting ready to pass judgment on me. And quickly. I, I thought of Psalms 121. And then the dream skipped to where. Uh, the judge was taking the cuffs off me. Right. So yeah, man, prayer is, is everything, man. You know, prayer is everything. And again, through these, reading these, prayer and reading. All right? Why is reading very important? Because you know the works of the Lord. Right? You're not going to believe. You, it's, it, you can't believe in a person's ability or you can't believe in an individual's ability all right, if you don't know that they have it. Therefore, reading is very crucial. Prayer is very crucial. You know? And I say fast. You know, but it's fasting. I look at fasting as a... um. It's almost like a pause, you know, to them demons that, be, that, that plague brothers. You know, because I see it. You know, you feel very... Let's say, you know, you had a tough week or whatever, whatever you're going through. What fasting does is it quiets, you know, it calms down your mind, right? Which also leads me to believe, you know, because remember fasting is a spiritual thing, of course. But even through physically, it's cleaning out the toxins and stuff out of your, out of your stomach. So it also makes sense that. You know, what we eat also contributes, you know, to uh, the anxieties and the demons that that exist in our heads as well. You know? But yeah, man. With that, shalom to the elect.